You're welcome to this platform once more. And in the course of this lesson, we'll be diving into an aspect of spoken English, which is consonant cluster. So I want you all out there, students everywhere out there who is observing, those of you who are observing my class right now to please pay attention. This is a very simple topic, but a little bit critical. That is if you know how to observe and um, you know identify your consonant phonetic symbols and differentiate them from your vowel phonetic symbols. Now, in the course of this lesson, um, consonant cluster, we will be looking into, we'll be finding out, we'll be looking into the meaning of consonant cluster. We'll be looking at the categories of consonant cluster and also we'll be looking at some examples, some word examples and how to identify the consonant clusters in the words by means of what we call transcription. I'll also be giving you the meaning of transcription, so I want you to pay attention. All right, now back to what we have on the board. Now, consonant cluster. What is consonant cluster? Now, from the meaning of cluster, cluster simply means, let me give the meaning of cluster, the conventional meaning of cluster. Cluster simply means um, the the when two or more objects are squeezed or joined together without any space for another entity to fit in. For example, um, the space between myself and the whiteboard, you can, uh, you can observe that there is a cluster. I'm actually clustering with the whiteboard, so there is no space for any other object to fit in. I hope you just understood the description now. So now, since we know the meaning of a cluster, now what is a consonant cluster? A consonant cluster simply means when two or more consonant sounds are merged together without an interfering vowel sound. I repeat, it is the coming together or the sequential arrangement of two or more consonant sounds, consonant sounds without an interfering vowel sound. Now let's come to the board. For instance, we have an example here, the word fry. Number one, we have fry. Now, um, one thing about cl consonant cluster is um, you, you identify the cluster from the sounds, not from the consonant letters. There is a wide margin. There is a difference between a consonant letter and a consonant sound. So we are not going to be identifying the cluster from the letters. Where we are going to be identifying the cluster is in the sounds by means of what we call transcription. So we are going to transcribe first before we can be able to identify the consonant cluster. Transcription simply means, you know, transferring or translocating word letters into their sounds. Every word we speak have sounds in which each letter represents. So when those letters in each of those words are transcribed into those phonetic symbols, they are called transcription. Now, we have the word fry. Now, in this word fry, there are certain sounds that make up this word fry. And those sounds have phonetic symbols in which they represent those sounds. Now, the first phonetic symbol here is pronounced as I repeat, and the phonetic symbol for that sound which I just pronounced is written like this. This is our friction consonant, our friction consonant. Now the second one is rrr. I repeat, rrr. and it is a gliding consonant, and the phonetic symbol is written like this. Then the, sec the, the, the third phonetic symbol in which we find in this particular word is called the ah sound. It is the short vowel sound and then the final sound in this particular word is the E sound. So when pronouncing everything together, it is called fry. Therefore, we can say A and E when used together can be called a diphthong. So automatically, please pay attention, automatically we have the, the phonetic symbols that are found, the, the sound, the phonetic sounds that are found in this word here as F, R, A and E which is pronounced sequentially as fry. Now let us identify the consonant sounds and differentiate them from the consonant, the vowel letters before we can be able to find out which of them has a consonant cluster. So the first one is a consonant sound. The second one is a consonant sound. So we are tagging them as C, which represents consonant, C represents consonant, and the I represents the vowel, which is a diphthong combination of two monotongues pronounced as or produced as a diphthong. I hope we understood the examples I just gave. Okay, the definition of a consonant sound simply means the flow of air, the free flow of air with an obstruction in the oral cavity. So any sound in which you produce, of which there is an obstruction in the organs of articulation, that is the organs in which the sounds are produced, there is an obstruction either totally or partially, then that sound which you produced or pronounced is called what? A consonant 
in its sound. On the other hand, a vowel sound simply means a speech sound that, pro that of which when it is produced, there is a free flow of air without obstruction. So the distinction or the difference between both speech sound, that's the vowel sound and the consonant sound, is that on the vowel sound, there is a free flow of air without an obstruction. Then on the consonant sound, there is a free flow of air, but the obstruction is either totally or partially. So I hope we understood the first part, right? Now, the consonant cluster is on the initial position of the word, which is between f and r. Now, the second part, observe. Now, the second part, we are going to transcribe the second part. Now, the first sound which comes out from this word, splash, we have splash here. Splash, splash, I repeat, splash. So, the first let um, sound that comes out from this word here is the s, and it is a friction consonant, followed by the po, which is a plosive consonant, then followed by the l, which is a lateral sound which is our lateral sound and after the l we have the a ah, which is the short vowel sound and then we have the sh which is our friction consonant now what are the consonant symbols in this um, phonetic symbols here we have over here as our consonant over here as our consonant over here as our consonant over here as our vowel and the last which is our consonant so where do we have our cluster remember i said the definition of a consonant cluster combination of two or more consonant sounds or the sequential arrangement of two or more consonant sounds without an interfering vowel sound so where do we have our consonant cluster between one two and three Therefore, since there is a vowel sound here, there is no cluster between the third consonant phonetic symbol, which is L, and the last consonant symbol, which is SH. Now we move to the, la the, the number three. Let's go over to number three. We have the word dry. So what are the symbols that makes up the, the sounds that makes up the, the, the word dry? We, we have the first one, D, which is our plosive consonant. We have the R. Yes, we have the r, which is our gliding consonant, and then we have the i, dry, which is this. So where do we have, what are the clusters? We have consonant, consonant, and then we have our vowel. So where do we have our cluster? Between do and r. I hope we are catching up, guys. Now we go to the next one, which is number four. Now we have the word rejoice. I repeat, rejoice. What are the, the, the symbols, the sounds that is produced in the word rejoice? The first one is we have r, which is our gliding consonant. Rejoice, we have the short vowel sound, the, which is the, the, the short vowel sound, e. Then the next one, we have the j, the affricate. It's a consonant sound, the j. Then we have the r, rejoice. This is a, a diphthong. And then the final one, we have this. I hope we are catching up. Now, let's split it out. Now, we have the consonant, watch. We have the vowel. Both of them here are consonant. This is a diphthong. Then it is a vowel. Then over here is a consonant. Now, observe. Is there a consonant cluster in number four? I will leave you to answer that question. I repeat. Is there a consonant cluster in number four? We have consonant, vowel, consonant, vowel, consonant. So my viewers, students out there, you're going to answer this for me. Is there a consonant cluster in number four? If there is a consonant cluster, you state your reason in the comment section. If there is no consonant cluster, also state your reason in the comment section below. Now, I'm going to leave you to answer number five and number six. This is what you're going to do for me as your assignment. Transcribe number five and transcribe number six. Number five is pronounced as prey and number six is pronounced as bishop. I repeat, number five is pronounced as prey and number six is pronounced as bishop. So transcribe it identify or state out the phonetic symbols in number five and number six and then state the consonant phonetic symbols and the vowel phonetic symbols and then identify the consonant cluster thank you very much for paying attention to this beautiful online class i remind your tutor your professional tutor prosper Onyochi, and don't forget to please subscribe and follow my page and then share my page and my my, my platforms to your different timelines so that other students can be able to benefit thank you and